guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be cleaning my saddle and I'm also going to be talking a little bit about bubbles. So let's get straight to it. Okay, so I'm going in first of all with a wet microfiber cloth, which is actually really good for cleaning tack. Just going to give it a little rinse off. So, um, none of you guys know this yet, but um, Bubbles is actually leaving at the end of this month and um, we're going to miss her so much. Um, but yeah, she's just getting too small and obviously she gets to go back to her old owners. And her, um, we actually don't own Bubbles, we loan her, which is, um, I, I, I guess you guys don't know that, but um, I'm not sure. Anyway, so I'm going to be really sad, but I just thought I'd let you guys know when I clean my cat because... I bareback rode her today and she was super good. So maybe I'll do another bareback ride with her before she leaves and I might be able to film it and stuff. But yeah, she's a super good girl. And lately she's been going really well. At our last show we got first and second in the 50 and 60. She got first in the um, 50 and second in the 60. But she was super good in both of them and she didn't try anything. So I'm super proud of her and you know what, I'm going to miss her so much and maybe some of you guys will too because she's been in quite a few videos and you guys know how sassy she is and we just love her. I'm going to miss her character and just her so much. So yeah, and she's going home with two new saddle tires which will be super exciting and like a whole new rug as well. So she's gonna be super happy and cozy at her house. Well, stable, you can say, up to her at the house. And then, yeah. So to get back to the bit of the tap cleaning. So now I've just gone over it with the microfiber cloth. We're gonna go in with our, I have like a nice soft towel that we're gonna go over some with like a leather um, conditioner to make it nice and, nice and soft in a way. You don't want to put too much to make your saddle slippy. So if your saddle's slippy, you might fall off. And you don't want to fall off. So you're just going to go over it a little bit. It's important that you clean your tack because you don't want your horse to get bacteria stuck under their saddle and things. That could actually hurt them in a ways. They could get like ill. But yeah, that's why I clean my tack quite often to make sure that it's lovely for when I ride and just to make sure that it stays in good condition. Because if your tack's in bad shape when you use it, you're not using it right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going over it with a nice soft towel and I have some, I think it's cool. It's soft soap. Um from gold label it's just like that mm -hmm. if you can see that i don't know if you can but if you can then that's what i'm using so yeah sometimes i use like an extra thing sometimes i'll only use one thing to clean my tack but yeah um i'm gonna be super sad that bubbles is leaving but hopefully i'm gonna get a bigger pony as well that can jump higher and it'll be a good size. So obviously you guys will hear about that too. But yeah, let me know anything exciting happening in your life in the comments, because I want to know. And also let me know what I should film my next video about because I just don't know. <laughs> That's why I don't film that much. I just don't know what to film about. So yeah, I'm just going over this side with the cat cleaner. So looking nice and shiny. And then we're gonna come round to this side. Mm -hmm. Trip to the grooming box. So now we've got our soap, if you can see it on there. So we're just gonna lather it on in a way, making it nice and shiny. Like it'll be beautiful. You, she has like all these like little bite marks on her saddle where when like we have her saddle on a stand in her box she'll like bite it when she like when you put on her bridle sometimes she, she's like so such an angry sassy character 
when you like put on her um saddle, like she just tries to bite everything because she's Ugh! when like the other day we bring on her bridle and she just like bites her saddle and we always tell her to stop. But now we have like tiny little bite marks and like ones that came with her saddle as well. Like you can tell that she's bitten it. Just super annoying. Anyway. So I'm gonna get a little bit more soap stuff for like conditioner. And we're gonna get our um stirrup leathers and go like that and we sit along it to make them super shiny and good. But yeah, we went to the forest yesterday. We had a lovely canter in the forest. I should really film stuff like that. But yeah, she was super good. She was a little bit fresh at first, but after that she was good and she just behaved herself. So yeah, she's been a super good girl and she's just been listening to everything I've asked her to do. Now on the other side I'm just doing the same with this syrup leather. And then after I'll